What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the SPY, the Nasdaq, the QQQs and Tesla, talk about what's going on with the market, why on earth some big circumstances are going to be affecting us for next week, what on earth may end up playing out based off of the historical data is showing and the technical aspect of it. Now before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner, don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever, and also if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this, not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Weeple link down below and in the description, if you sign up for Weeple, the link down below, and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000, and the best part is any of these 12 free stocks can be a free Tesla share. It's a limited time offer, the offer ends in just 10 days check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video looking at spy this thing had a big rally today up about 2.43 percent for the day the nasdaq was up about 2.31 percent and overall the market did see a big push to the upside now the real question on everyone's minds is are we about to see a huge rally or are we about to see a big reversal and i believe that overall the setup does look kind of bullish we could continue to see a push up for monday but i'm not necessarily fixated on us just kind of like squeezing and rallying to the moon just yet i believe What's going to happen is we're going to continue to push up for some time, right? But me saying that we're not going to the moon yet means that I don't see the market just continuing to rally for a while. I believe that this market could rally for some time, but we are going to get a big reversal eventually. And I'm going to show you some historical data that kind of suggests that. So looking at the S&P 500 midterm election year seasonal pattern since 1946, you will see we've been following this red line pretty well. What tends to happen around the month of October, the market tends to get a big rally in October, followed by a big, big drop in November. Do not forget that because in the blink of an eye, the market could just flip just like that when you least expect it. And I do believe either like next week because it is the last week of October, or maybe going into like after midterms, maybe like next week into FOMC, or maybe after midterms. Within the next two weeks, I do anticipate, all right, that the market is going to get a big reversal within two weeks. That's what my prediction is. And I think that because, firstly, we do have lots of signals of potential downside. Firstly, look at the NASDAQ. Uh, hold on, let me fix this. Give me one second. Uh, looking at the NASDAQ, we could see if we go all the way to today. I'm not sure why it went all the way back for me. But anyways, looking at the NASDAQ, you guys could see this thing actually came down very hard on the day of CPI. We pushed up a bit, but then we have this huge gap down here on SPY. We have another big gap that'll take this thing down to the 350s. Once again, 358 is very possible and the market does look like it's gonna come down. Considering that we are potentially entering an earnings recession, we are seeing lots of uncertainty in the UK as they are going to be getting a new prime minister. That's just you know crazy how they're going through all these things. For Tesla, we have Elon Musk giving us these big updates about Twitter, how he wants to buy the company. He's going to kind of like work on changing the workforce, what the company is all about. With him saying this, there's a potential that he may start selling some Tesla shares that could bring Tesla down. If Tesla starts to come down, the whole market could actually get affected by this because Tesla's a mega cap out there. It has a big influence on lots of other stocks out there and the NASDAQ. So what I'm essentially, essentially uh, predicting at this point would be Tesla could get a nice rally going into Monday. We could fill this gap up here. But look at what happened historically when Tesla enters that 220 zone. Let me just show you guys like this. So right here, 226, rejection, rejection, rejection. We came down. We pushed up another rejection. We came down. We actually went above it temporarily. But look at the resistance at 230. We couldn't even hold above 226. So we kept getting rejected off 226. Then we come down here and we start to chop around this like 222 to like 218 range. It happened for just a couple of days. So for the last two weeks, Tesla has struggled to kind of like beat uh, the 226 zone. And you guys can see, all right, Tesla could get a rally. We could push up a little bit more to fill this gap. But what's going to happen if we fill the gap? What's going to happen if Tesla gets to 220? History suggests we're going to see lots of chomp. We may get a big rejection off 226, if not 222, right? It seems very likely that's what's going to happen. And another thing is, when it comes to Tesla pushing up, we don't even know if this thing is going to push up from this point because 
It could be announced that Musk is planning to sell shares. That's a big possibility. The Twitter deal could also close sooner than expected. It's been going on for a while. So if that closes, Tesla's share price is likely going to drop because when your CEO is like busy working on another company, it's not going to be the best of things. So this essentially suggests that the market, including Tesla, is going to push up a little bit more. We have some more room. But then after that, I don't know if it's going to start like sometime next week or maybe like in two weeks approaching FOMC and the election. Very soon, though. Nonetheless, it's happening very soon. I believe we're going to get a big reversal. It could happen. It tends to happen near the end of October. It seems like that is what might be the case right now. So maybe like by Wednesday, Thursday of next week, we're going to see a big reversal in the markets and we're going to actually start to downtrend. Or if they try to hold us up approaching midterms because they don't want the market to crash that soon, that's also a possibility. And we end up kind of like crashing into like November instead. So it's kind of delayed. Either way, guys, a big drop seems very, very likely in my opinion. For Tesla, I do think that over the next two weeks, all right, this is my prediction. I believe Tesla is going to come down after we get a big push up, maybe a rejection of 226, 222. I don't even know if we're going to make it that high, to be honest with everyone. With Musk maybe selling and all those things, Tesla could come down and reach us the 202 to 200 level. And I can't guarantee we're going to hold that level right here where I, where I highlighted this zone. We could end up going below 200. Very, very possible. On the SPY, where's SPY going? Well, looking at this from a shorter time frame, we have potential to push to about uh, 378 to 380. Very possible. But once we touch that, there's no telling how we're going to respond. The last time SPY came to that zone, right here, we pushed up to about 379, big rejection, and we ended up actually touching 348 as the market turned very bearish. We could see a repeat of this, guys. Be very cautious, be very prepared. All right. Now, looking at something else, like let me look at the VIX real quick. I'm actually holding some VIX calls. Uh, I do believe the VIX is set for a spike soon. We could come down just a little bit slightly here and there. But I do believe the VIX is going to come all the way back to this 35 level over the next few weeks. Very, very possible if the market starts to reverse. For the NASDAQ, I just mentioned this. Uh, we've been on this big downtrend. Uh, we pushed up a bit. We do have some potential to push up and maybe fill this gap to about 11,000. I mean, that's going to be a bit of a stretch. It's very possible, though. I wouldn't rule it out. After that, a big rejection is very possible. We could end up coming down as well. For Apple, I'm going to be watching the psychological levels. Let me let me do this real quick. Give me one second, guys. Let me just fix this Fibonacci retracement. For Apple right now, I'm going to be watching All right, that 150 zone. I believe Apple has a lot of strength. It's actually showing lots of signs of relative strength. We could push to about 150 to 152. After that, we could get a big rejection. Maybe we approach the 200 EMA. And you guys could see how important the 200 EMA is. We could actually get a big rejection off that. And Apple could come tumbling down after that. Very, very possible later in the market. But until we come down, I anticipate some more upside for Apple. I wouldn't be surprised if we make it to at least 150. Very possible for the QQQ. Uh, same story. We have potential to hit about 280. We could end up pushing up there, but we have to break 275 first and hold it. All right. We need to show some strength up there. And if we break past that 280 is possible after that, there's no telling how this is going to go. I don't really see this thing rallying this high to like the 300s. It looks like it's going to get rejected very close to this 280 to 285 zone. Very, very possible as well. Uh, SPX, very, very similar setup to what I was mentioning from before. We have potential to push to about uh, the 3800 zone. Very, very possible. Maybe uh, 3780 is also very possible around that zone. I do see us potentially seeing strong resistance. That is where we could get a big rejection. So in short, guys, I'm anticipating either the market is just getting ready to drop out of nowhere or we're going to push up a little bit more before the big rejection potentially comes. This is what I'm essentially seeing. Now, when does the big rejection come? I mentioned that I think it's going to happen next week, but to be more conservative, be prepared for whatever the market throws your way. And also, if they try to hold up the market because of midterms, it could be a little bit delayed because of FOMC. It's a little bit later. But nonetheless, guys, 
I still stand by a big reversal coming very soon, most likely, in my opinion, next week. So be ready, guys. Remain calm, calm, collected. Do what you have to do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The market is still going to the moon for the long term because the future is still bright. And peace out.